This is part two of an instructional video that explains how to properly set up a home sleep study. Part two will outline the steps to complete at home before your child goes to sleep. In this video, we will cover arriving home, supplies, at-home instruction, bedtime, morning. Your child will arrive home from the lab with the electrodes, device, and chest and belly bands already in place. His or her head will be wrapped in gauze. If your child complains of being itchy or you see her or him trying to itch the electrodes, encourage your child to tap them, but not rub. If your child complains of being hot or you observe your child trying to touch the electrodes, wires, or gauze, distraction will likely be the best solution. Try to engage your child in a favorite activity, such as watching television, playing on a tablet or phone, playing a game, singing, reading, anything to help distract him or her from the gauze and the electrodes. You will place the following items on your child right before bedtime. A pulse oximeter, a cannula and a thermistor, animal face stickers. A pulse oximeter is a sensor that can measure the percent of oxygen in your blood. Place the pulse oximeter watch on your child's non-dominant wrist and the attached finger sensor to the index finger like a thimble. It is easier if you squeeze the sides of the gray finger probe and then slide the finger in. The wire connecting the wrist sensor to the finger sensor should be on top of the finger, not on the palm. The cannula is a nose piece that will measure breathing through the nose via airflow. The thermistor is a device with heat sensing wires that detect breathing through the nose and mouth. Place the thermistor and the cannula on your child's face so that the cannula whiskers are in the child's nostrils and the thermistor wires are lined up with your child's nostrils and mouth. The nose wires can be bent down so that they sit outside the nostrils. The mouth wire should be bent down towards the mouth so that it can feel breath, but not placed in the mouth or chewed. Tape the thermistor and cannula in place on your child's cheeks using the stickers that were provided. Extra tape can be used all along the gauze hat to keep them in place if needed. Tighten the thermistor and cannula at the back of the head so it is secure. You will then need to connect the blue and white wire from the whiskers to the red and black wires on the black box. You will also need to connect the tubing from the nasal cannula to the black box. The black box will record information as long as the wires and the tubing are connected. If you should have any questions, please contact the study team a study team member will contact you by phone the evening of the study to address concerns that may arise. Have your child go to bed as usual. The device will start recording at a preset time. You will need to be in the room with them overnight. If he or she wakes or tries to remove anything while asleep, provide reassurance, guide his or her hands down, and encourage her or him to go back to sleep. He or she will likely need to start by lying on his or her back, but you do not need to reposition him or her throughout the night. Please just monitor that the pulse ox and the cannula stay in place. If they come off, try to reapply. In the morning, when your child wakes up, please remove the black box pulse ox, and all wires. Do not dispose of any materials. Place them back in the original packaging. Drop off at a UPS location or drop off at the sleep center or ask the study team to schedule an at-home pickup. Returning devices is important in order for us to be able to use them on other children. If you have any questions about shipping your device back, please contact your research coordinator for details. Thank you for participating in research at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. <laughs>